Hello, hello, my little plum babies. Welcome back to the Decades Challenge. Uh, Olivet has just gone off to school, and so Betsy is headed downstairs. She was working on uh, a little painting upstairs, and she has this embrace want. So we're going to go ahead and uh, allow her to do that. She wants to embrace Henry's, so we're going to have her do that. Oh, how sweet. Um, and I think what we're going to do, Henry wants to stargaze with Betsy. We're going to re-roll that because, um, okay, okay, now he wants to get to know Betsy. Okay, we can do that. But I think what we're going to do is I want to take them out for the day. Now, normally, um, they would not go to any kind of, uh, a lounge or something like that until um, a little bit later in the evening but I think we are going to go ahead and go to this little jazz lounge um, that I've placed down and we're going to head over there now it's called 1920s jazz bar and let me pull up where I got this from so you guys can actually see so this is by tumbleweed xx if you guys would like to download it from the gallery it is a very cute little lounge um, of course, there will, it's kind of like a speakeasy too because um, they do serve juice and things like that. So it's kind of a little, a little risque place to be, you know, because we're in the middle of prohibition and drinking wasn't technically supposed to be a thing, I think, in this decade. Let me actually look at something really quick because I want to see when the prohibition ended. Okay, so it started, holy cow, it started in 1920 and didn't finish until 1933. Okay, so let's have them go sit together in here. And then once our, ooh, she must be the, the pianist. Ooh, okay. I wonder if instead of sitting down, I wonder if we can have them just kind of go here together. And then I wonder if they could do... You know, just a cheeky little slow dance, you know? Ooh, they can. Look at them. Oh, this is so sweet. Henry, look at you being a nice guy for once. Now, you guys keep in mind, Betsy does not know about the way Henry feels about Olivet um, and the way Olivet feels about Henry. Betsy has no idea. So this is... Uh, you know, she thinks her husband is just being really sweet and taking her out um, for, you know, a little, a little day on the town. Isn't that nice? How sweet. Can you guys come here together, please? I want to try to get a picture of them, like, slow dancing because I think it would be cute, but I just have to get them in the right <laughs> position to be able to do it. The stage is really messing up my my photo taking uh abilities right now <laughs> okay we're uh gonna have them go ahead and head home because this didn't turn out exactly like i wanted henry why are you in your bathing suit what is the reasoning all right we're gonna have betsy go ahead and i think her and henry you know because they were out and about and they had a little romantic date i think betsy's in the mood and so her and henry are going to take advantage of the empty house uh now that uh olivet is at school and they don't have to worry about olivet being here uh they're gonna you know they're gonna jump at the chance all right so henry has work in about four hours so he has some things that he needs to be doing. So we need to go out here and sell all of the uh, plants and he needs to water everything. Um, oh, hey, it's the Reaper's Rewards event. Great. <laughs> I haven't even started this yet. <laughs> um, this literally just started and I have not even had a chance to look at it. We need to learn everything we can about Ambrosia. Perhaps the Ambrosia Society newsletter could get you closer to the truth. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this right now. We're not gonna we're not gonna delve too much into that uh, right now in this LP. Maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a separate video on that because I don't think I want to jump into that too much right now. Let's have Betsy come up 
and she's going to kind of finish up this painting that she was working on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I didn't realize. Oh my God. I am such an idiot. I am such an idiot. I wasn't even thinking. That was Betsy's last pregnancy attempt. And Mildred doesn't have any left either because her and Pierce. Pierce is gone, and her and Pierce had their last attempt before he died. So Betsy doesn't have any more pregnancy attempts. So we have until, I don't know what day. Um, today is Monday, so Tuesday. We should know by tomorrow um, if Betsy is pregnant. So by Tuesday at like noon, we should know if she's pregnant. And actually, we'll know beforehand because she'll actually age up like at midnight. Um, cause I try to do my age ups at midnight. So, um, we'll actually know beforehand because if she's able to age up, that means that she's not pregnant because it will not let pregnant Sims age up. So we're going to have her start on another large classic painting. Um, Henry's coming up here to chat with her, but you really don't have time for a chat right now, Henry. You have to get ready for work. So why don't you come in here and, uh, you know, go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush your teeth, all that kind of stuff, and kind of, you know, get ready for work. All right. Olivette is out of school for the day. She's feeling a little mortified from having a, a little bit of a mood swing. She can come in here and use this bathroom uh, since Henry's in the bathroom upstairs to take a shower and all of that fun stuff. Um, we're also going to have her clean out the spoiled food and empty dishes. And then we'll have her, I don't know that I want her to serve lunch specifically. Let's just click on cook and see what we can have her make um ooh, let's have her make some beef wellington all right so betsy is feeling a little bit tired she's a little bit hungry we're gonna have her go in and pee she cannot take a pregnancy test we can't use pregnancy tests until the 1960s so there's that um all right henry is off to work and olivet is starting on dinner she still has six hours of this mortified moodlet left uh, Betsy looks like she's grabbed some dinner. I don't know what that is. Oh, asado. Okay. Sure. So once you're done with that, Betsy, let's have you go ahead and go to sleep. Olivet, why don't you go grab a serving of that beef wellington you just made? It looks delicious and it's excellent quality. So great job on that. All right. I think we're going to send Olivet upstairs <laughs> to sleep um, until she feels a little bit better because this mortified moodlet I'm really scared is going to kill her. Now, before y'all come for me, I know, okay? I know. So, a few minutes ago, I got this notification. I'm feeling very unsatisfied Unsatisfied in our relationship. If you're mean to me while I feel this way, I may have to break up with you. So, both Henry and Betsy are feeling unsatisfied in their marriage. And I... I get it. I mean, Henry has been focusing all of his romantic attentions on Olivet. Not that Betsy knows that. Um, you know, Betsy has no idea that Henry has been unfaithful, but she does know that, you know, he's been distant and she can feel that and that's you know that's the reason why she feels so unsatisfied in her relationship currently she can tell that he's been distant and weird and so today is henry's birthday and so she has decided to to uh bake him a birthday cake it's also her birthday so they uh they're gonna share this birthday today and oh my gosh she started a fire oh my goodness betsy put it out put it out put it out oh my gosh betsy put it out put it out oh my goodness
Betsy Holman, Firewoman. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so let's go ahead and replace this. That's going to take like all of our money. So that's incredibly unfortunate. Uh, we'll have her go add the birthday candles. And then this is the moment, you guys. We're about to find out if Betsy is pregnant. If Betsy is not pregnant, that's it. We're done. Uh, because the airship will then go to Mildred's oldest, uh, which would be Oliver. So, oh, she can age up, you guys. She's not pregnant. I'm going to double check. I'm going to cheat real quick. Go to MC Command Center and we're going to double check. MC Pregnancy. She's not pregnant. Oh my gosh. Oh, Betsy, I'm so sorry, honey. Unfortunately, I guess children for Betsy were just never part of the plan. So um, we are going to give Betsy the quality of life aspiration. That's fine. I think we're going to give her the romantically reserved trait because I think she is going to find out. I mean, she will find out in this episode what has happened with Henry and Olivet. Um, so we're going to give her the romantically reserved trait. I think she's also going to be a little bit hot-headed. And I think she's going to be ambitious. Um, she's going to want to prove to the world that she doesn't need a husband, you know, to take care of her. She's going to be fine on her own. And uh, we're going to give her the overachiever trait as well. Okay, and Betsy is a young adult. Oh, Betsy, I love you so much, honey. I'm so sorry about all of this. Henry has aged up as well. We're going to randomize his last three traits. He got romantic. That doesn't surprise me. Geek and dog lover. So I think he actually, I think we're going to give him the Paragon Partner aspiration because I think um maybe he's maybe he's polyamorous and maybe that's you know I'm not making excuses okay I am not I am not making excuses for why he did what he did but I think he you know back then it wasn't really well understood you know poly relationships weren't like a, a thing really um, so maybe that's what he wants and he didn't really understand it. Like, do you know what I mean? So here's the thing. Henry and Olivet are here in the dining room. And I think what they're going to do is they're going to decide to no longer consider each other siblings, first of all, because they never considered each other siblings. <laughs> so that's an important distinction to make. But so they're having this conversation and Henry's like, look, I can't. <gasps> Wait a second. I didn't wait. Uh, that is not what I said to do. I said, do not consider each other siblings anymore. Y'all, Betsy has caught him in the act, you guys. He's like, you know, I'm so sorry. Oh, all of that's laughing? What? What the actual heck? Why was all of that laughing? Betsy's ending this. Yes, she's going to get the jealous trait. Absolutely she is. Yeah, Betsy is ending this. She is absolutely ending this. She is like, no, no freaking way. I cannot believe you did this to me. You are so sick. Like, that's my little cousin. And so I think what she's going to do... Ooh, okay. Considering the turmoil in Betsy's romantic life at the moment, she feels that perhaps this would be a bad time to have children. Yeah, I absolutely think so. I mean, wow, okay. So can we, we're going to go to mean. All of it has school in like an hour. Henry feels so embarrassed because of everything that just happened. Betsy is enraged. Oh my gosh. We're going to go to the separation menu. Mm, no, maybe we should just 
separate permanently. And we're going to say angry because of course she's angry. She is putting an end to this romantic relationship. She's like, dude, I am done. I cannot believe you did this to me. That is so sick and twisted of you. Like, I can't. I can't. And why is Betsy separating from Henry? Because he cheated on her. Betsy's partner decided to go look elsewhere and fool around. Such a break of trust could only lead to one outcome. Henry was hoping for an amicable separation, but Betsy's negative feelings are too strong for that. There's no staying in good terms now. Wow. Henry and Betsy now despise each other. Oh my gosh. Okay. Who that was a lot. All right. We need to roll the dice too for both of them. So let's do that right now. We're going to roll two d20 die. So we aged Betsy up first. So Betsy's will be 15 and Henry's will be seven. They are adult, uh, young adults. I'm sorry. So they are both safe. Okay. So they are going to be young adults for 24 days. Okay. And we also have to age up Kenneth today. So here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to save and go to manage households. Okay. And I think we are going to move Olivet and Henry into Mildred's house. Um, and then we are going to move Mildred and her kids in with Betsy. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to have Betsy um, live with Mildred and her kids probably for the rest of her life unless she gets married again, which she very well could do, um, but she won't be having any children. And I think that with Betsy not having any children, um, I think it would be nice for her to stay with Mildred. Um, we're going to bring, let's say Mildred can bring 5000 into the household because I don't want to take all of that money. Um, they had a really good amount of money and I don't want to take all of it, but we'll say Mildred is bringing 5000 into the house. So um, Olivet and Henry are going to live there together and they are going to be uh, a big happy family on their own. And uh, Mildred will be the heir. And right now our current heir then would be Oliver after Mildred um, because Oliver is Mildred's oldest. So from now on, the succession will go to the oldest child regardless of gender. Oh my gosh, it just said like game failed to load and I'm freaking out a little bit because if this doesn't let me back in here, I'm gonna die. I've worked too hard <laughs> to lose this save file, you guys. Okay, it loaded in. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to freak out. Okay, we're gonna let Betsy keep her room. That's fine. Um, We're gonna have her go in and take an angry poop and uh, maybe maybe she just needs to take a, a little bubble bath, you know? So <laughs> Oliver and Eden are off to grade school. Mildred has just put Mr. Man here down for a nap because he is all kinds of cranky. Um, but yeah, I kind of want Mildred and uh, Betsy to have a little heart to heart. So can we maybe have her come sit on the, uh, I'm just going to replace that really quick. Um, Betsy, let's have you hop out here real quick and have you come. Oh my gosh, you guys, Mildred's pregnant. Mildred's pregnant. I didn't even see it. She's pregnant. Oh my gosh. Her and Pierce's last woohoo worked. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to cry. That makes me so happy. Oh, that's so amazing. I'm so glad that her and Pierce's last woohoo worked. Okay. Let's, um, let's, let's just do some friendly interactions here. Let's, um, well, maybe let's ask the baby's due date. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about Mildred first. We're going to discuss some healthy relationships, and she's just going to tell Mildred, you know, everything 
that happened. She's like, yeah. And then I walk in the dining room and there he is kissing your sister. And Mildred's like, oh my gosh, Betsy, I can't believe Olivet did that. I'm so sorry. You know, her and Pierce, they faced a lot of social stigma anyway because Pierce was a man of color and um, they were not allowed to be together. So they faced a lot of social stigma, um, as have their children because of the fact that they were in an interracial relationship in a time where it wasn't allowed. And technically it's against the, um, it's against the challenge rules, um, to have had her be in that relationship. But I really like the idea of going against the grain and, um, kind of challenging the social norm for the two of them. So I just, I feel like Mildred is that kind of person that she wouldn't care what other people think. Um, and it would not have bothered her, but she is actually going to be taking over Adriel and McKenna's room. So this was her parents' room. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be Mildred's new room. So we are going to assign the right side of the bed to Mildred so that we know that that bed is hers. Mr. Man here is awake. And since Mildred is feeling okay, can we have her go in and, um, I want her to pick him up and do some like tummy time and stuff because I feel like all of our other babies kind of got cheated out of it. And now that we don't have to have as many babies, I would love to be able to spend some time, um, loving on this baby. But, oh, he's supposed to age up today, isn't he? Kenneth is. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Um, do we still have the cake? We do. Can you still put birthday candles on it? You can. Betsy, can you come add birthday candles to this for me? I think that would be amazing if you could. Today's mail has been delivered. Let's have uh, Betsy go ahead and grab the mail while she's out here too. And then we'll have her come sell that uh, art piece that she created to the collector. Kenneth got a milestone. Yay! He got the rollover to back milestone. That's great. Good job, Kenneth. Let's have her age up. Nope. We are going to help blow out candles, Kenneth. Oh, she's helping him learn to sit up. That's cute. Okay. Come on, Kenneth. Yay! Kenneth aged up. So he got the Zuby trait. These toddlers are naturally drawn to animals, both plush and real. They love pretend play as many veterinarians or beast tamers, making every day a playful animal adventure. And he's also clingy. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Let's roll for Kenneth. And rolling for Kenneth. Kenneth got a five. He is a toddler now. And he is safe. Thank goodness. He is going to be a toddler for eight days. All right. Now let's hop in to create a sim and give this little boy a makeover. He's feeling a little sad from crying and fussing, but he's so chunky. Look at him. He's such a chunker. Oh, I love him. So I definitely feel like he does have Pierce's hair texture a little bit. So I like this hair on him. He is so precious. I cannot get over it. Oh my gosh. He has the most gorgeous eyes. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Um, we're going to put him in this little sweater vest because it's just freaking cute. Okay. I love it. And I don't mind the jeans, but I want them, there we go, in a different color. And then we'll put him in these cute little loafers with a pair of black socks. Oh my gosh, he's so stinking cute. Okay, I'm going to save this really quick just in case. Can we have her comfort him a little bit? Oh. Okay, go ahead and clean up the floor. Let's have Mildred come over and uh soothe him a little bit he's a little bit cranky he acquired the communication skill she's like come here buddy it's okay oh he's so precious what does he want to do he wants to be friendly with her okay we can do that friendly um 
<gasps> he can say hi to the baby? Oh my goodness, I have never seen this interaction before. Wait a freaking second. Hang on. Because this is about to be the cutest thing I have ever seen. I can just tell. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Stop it. That's the cutest thing I have ever seen. Oh. That's so adorable. She's like, your little brother or sister is in there. Oh, he waved. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I have never seen that interaction before. That is so cute. Oh, that's part of the childbirth mod, I think, by Panda Sama. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely adorable. Okay. <laughs> Okay, on that super cute note, we are going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for coming to hang out with me today. Um, if you guys uh, would like to see Betsy get uh, remarried, um, please do upload some Sims uh, to the gallery under the hashtag PlumBobMamaDecades, um, and I will check them out and see if any of them might suit Betsy's fancy. Um, like I said, Betsy will not be having any children, but I would like to find somebody that she could spend her life with, and, um, you know, maybe they could adopt a child. Um, we are not going to... Uh, allow that child to take the air role um because that role i i i am comfortable leaving that role with oliver i want to keep the uh the danforth family bloodline intact for as long as possible um and i don't know how common adoptions were back in the 1920s so um I don't know. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna play it that way just yet. Maybe later on in the um maybe later on in the challenge, you know, maybe we could do that. But right now I feel like, you know, trying to keep the bloodline going is where I feel more most comfortable with taking my challenge. So Again, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure that you do upload your Sims to the gallery uh, under Plum Bob Mama NSB. Uh, thank, or not NSB. I'm sorry, Plum Bob Mama Decades. If you want to upload some Sims under the uh, hashtag Plum Bob Mama NSB for our Not So Berry Challenge, um, that would be cool too. I would love that um, because I would love to get Bo and some more friends <laughs> uh, and possibly uh, another love interest too so we could have a little love triangle going on in that series. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, but thank you guys so much, and uh, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Don't sit and tell me I'm pretty while you sip Jameson. Don't make me wanna stick around until the party ends. You've got a bad reputation, so what? I'm in.